Hello kids! Welcome sa ating online Sunday School. Ako nga pala si Kuya Owen. I-invite nyo na ang friends, cousins, at siblings nyo. And now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this day. At uh, loan kami sa uh, pag-understand your word. And everything we do Lord, i-bless nyo po Father. In Jesus name, pray. Amen. At ngayon, ihanda na natin ang ating sarili para sa praise and worship kasama sina Shiloh, Jem, at Zoe. Hello kids! I'm Ate Shiloh. I'm Ate Jian. I'm Ate Shem. I'm Ate Zoe. Let's all stand up and praise the Lord!
Search the whole world over for a love that is forever In His great love I'd find All of the love God has shown us He sent His only Son All of the love God has freed us Oh, the wonder of the love of God All of the love God has shown us He sent His only Hello kids! I would like to welcome you to our story time. So my name is Ate Jojo and I'm happy to meet all of you today. Are you ready for our message for this Sunday? Alright! So kung ready na tayo, let's all pray together. Lord, we thank you very much for this wonderful day. We thank you for um, being with us this Sunday. Uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng um, blessings at guidance ninyo for the whole week. We pray, O oh God, na samahan niyo po kami as we learn more about your word. Please be with us. Help us to understand very well at ma-practice namin din kung ano man ang matututunan namin this day. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, let's go ahead and start with our story. So, ang ating story for today is about Samuel. Okay, so si Samuel, remember, siya ang naging judge at leader ng mga Israelites for a very, very long time. So, sa mga panahon na yun, kasama niya ang Panginoon para i-guide ang mga Israelites. So, bata pa lang si Samuel, di ba? Um, actually, hindi pa siya pinapanganak. Dinedicate na siya ng kanyang ma- mother na si Hannah to the Lord. At bata pa lang siya, ay naglilingkod na siya sa Panginoon. And he has been very faithful in serving the Lord and helping the people of Israel. Ayan. So, um, sabi nga sa title natin, this is the time when uh, Samuel resigned as being judge. Um, ano pa ibig sabihin ng resign? Huh? Alam niyo ba kung anong ibig sabihin nun? So, ibig sabihin ng resign, for example, um, for example, uh, si, uh, si daddy, nagtatrabaho siya sa isang work. Um, pero, dumating yung time na um, kailangan niya na mag-stop doon sa work na yun because maybe meron na siyang ibang work na pupuntahan. So, mag-re-resign siya. So, ibig sabihin nun, ibig sabihin ng resign is you're going to stop doing yung job na kinagawa mo. So, this time, Samuel resigns as a judge for the Israelites. Ayan, so ang story natin ay nanggaling sa 1 Samuel chapter 12 verses 1 to 25. So si Samuel, syempre, nung um, bababa na siya bilang leader ng mga Israel, um, ito ay dahil meron na silang king at yun ay si King Saul. So ibig sabihin, si Saul ang magiging um, responsible sa buong Israel during that time. So siya ang hari, siya ang uh, magiging leader ng mga tao. Kaya kay nailangan ni Samuel na bumaba bilang uh, leader ng mga Israelites. So, bago niya gawin yun, importante sa kanya na kausapin yung mga tao at ipaalam sa kanila kung ano yung um, gusto niyang sabihin sa kanila. So, importante sa kanya na magbigay ng tagubilin para masigurado niya na yung mga Israelites ay um, magiging maayos yung kanilang buhay. So, ginather niya yung mga Israelites and he talked to them. Okay, so nung kinausap niya yung mga Israelites, meron siyang mga bagay na sinabi sa kanila. So sabi niya, unang-una, uh, importante na magstay sila maging faithful kay Lord. So sinabi niya na sa buhay niya, uh, tinry niya talaga to be faithful to God. And um, 
he said that uh, pwede siyang tanungin ng mga tao. Uh, tinanong niya yung mga tao. Sinabi niya, uh, meron ba kayong masasabi against me when I was a leader? Uh, meron ba akong maling ginawa during uh, as I was a judge for you? Um, have I ever cheated or have I ever opposed any one of you? Sabi ng mga tao, no, no. Um, you have never cheated or have done anything to oppress us. So, um, Samuel fa- faithfully followed God. So, and became, um, and became very good example for the people. Diba? So, the people can say anything against him because he maintained a good reputation in the eyes of God and of the people. Okay, so like Samuel, um, it is part important for us to have a good reputation din. So, ibig sabihin, maayos yung pamumuhay natin. Um, paano ba mangyayari yun? Of course, we have God's help. We should always be guided by God's word. And pag nakikita ng mga tao that we are following God and we're listening to God, ay kita nila na maayos ang uh, pagdidesisyon natin, the way we treat people, and we will also um, have knowledge na galing sa Panginoon. And because of that, katulad si Samuel, people will trust at um, magtitiwala sila sa atin. And they will have nothing against us. And more than that, God will be very pleased sa atin. So, yun ang iniwan na legacy ni Samuel. Sabi niya, importante na maging maayos ang reputation natin. So, siya, um, he was very confident and he even asked the people. Uh, in front of the people, tinanong niya kung meron silang masasabi sa kanya. ba diba? Ang tapang niya. Eh, pero dahil alam niya na he's been following God and listening to God, um, alam niya na wala siyang uh, maitatago at wala siyang uh, masamang, uh, walang masamang masasabi yung mga tao sa kanya. Okay, next one that Samuel uh, did is He reminded the Israelites of God's goodness and faithfulness to them. So, ni-remind niya yung mga tao, yung mga magagandang bagay na ginawa ng Panginoon sa kanila. Nung palang time ni Moses, kung saan sila iniligtas uh, from, the, from the Egyptians, yung nag-cross, di ba? Nag, uh, yung mga miracles na ginawa ni God sa kanila. Hindi sila pinabayaan ng Panginoon. So, Samuel reminded that, reminded the people na kung gaano kabait at uh, um, gaano sila inalagaan ng Panginoon. Kahit na yung mga Israelites, maraming times silang naging matigas ang ulo and they worship idols and turned against God. But every time they ask for forgiveness and ask for help, God was always there for them. So, sa atin, importante rin ma-remind tayo of how uh, how God uh, has been good to us, has been good to our family, uh, sa ating buhay, and hindi lang natin siya aalahanin sa sarili natin. It's important that we share that to other people. So, sabihin din natin sa ibang tao kung ano yung ginawa ni God sa atin, anong goodness ni God na binigay sa atin, ano yung blessings na nareceive natin. Halimbawa, um, nag-pray ka, natulungan ka ng Panginoon sa, sa exam mo. And then, after your exam, uh, after praying, you were able to study well. God gave you knowledge and you were able to answer your exam well, di ba? That's something that you can share to your parents and to your friends. So, always remember, every day, you can think of what blessing you received from God. And remind yourself and tell them to others also. Okay, ito naman ang sunod na sinabi ni Samuel sa mga tao. Samuel reminded the people to obey God and make God the king of their hearts 
and lives. Bakit kaya sinabi to ni Samuel? Well, for one thing, magkitigas ang ulo ng mga Israelites. At uh, karamihan sa, sa, sa atin din, sa ating mga tao, alam ni God na ganun tayo. Yung heart natin talagang ang uh, matitiga. So, um, important that we ask God uh, to be our king eh, king of our hearts and lives. So, um, nung maraming mga panahon na ang mga Israelites ay um, tinalikuran nila ang Panginoon. And um, they worship uh, idols and they turned away from God. At ngayon, nire-remind sila ng Samuel na huwag nang gagawin yun. Sabi niya, um, it's important for them, pero not only for them. Mas importante na yung kanilang hari or kanilang king is following God's um, stature. So, yung mga uh, mga tagubili ng Panginoon sa kanila. Okay. So, Samuel told the Israelites um, that um, that God has been very, very uh, patient with them and even if they ask um, God to give them a king, uh, even if God is there not to be their king, um, hinayaan sila ng Panginoon. And um, dahil sa ganitong heart ng mga Israelites, Samuel reminded them that they should fear the Lord and serve and obey God and not to rebel against God's command. So Samuel warned them na uh, if they don't do so, God's hand will be against them. So kung sinusunod nila ang Panginoon at nagiging faithful sila, God will always uh, be there to take care of them. Pero once they turn away from God, uh, parang um, pagka nag-turn away sila kay God, syempre hindi sila matutulungan ng Panginoon. And God's wrath and God's hands will be upon them. So, sabi ni Samuel, very important that the king and the people should take God as the king, um, the king of their hearts and the king of their lives. So, this reminds us that obedience is very important. Diba? Important sa Panginoon ang obedience natin. Dahil alam ng Panginoon what is best for us. So, kung ano yung uh, best para sa atin, yun ang ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. But we have to follow Him and listen to Him. Hmm. Example na lang sa mga parents natin, halimbawa kids, uh, malimbawa sinabi ni mommy at ni daddy, oh, matulog ng maaga kasi may class tomorrow. Pero, Hindi tayo natulog ng maaga. Anong nangyari? Late tayo nagising. And late na rin tayo sa class natin. Kahit na online pa yan, pwede tayong malit, ba? So, um, wa- alam ni mommy and daddy kung what's good for you. Pero dahil hindi nakinig, na late sa class, ba? So, ganun din si God sa atin. He knows what's best for us. That's why He wants us to listen to Him and to follow um, His guidance. Okay, next na, sinabi ni Samuel, next na nangyari pala, ay, yan, sinabi ni Samuel for the people of Israel to repent. So, mag-repent daw sila sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Especially, yung recent sin nila na humingi sila ng hari in spite of God being there for them. Diba? So, Samuel reminded the people to repent for their sin of asking a king before God, the God who is the real king and sovereign Lord over Israel. So Samuel prayed to God to send thunder and rain. Bakit kaya nag-pray si Samuel to send thunder and rain? Alam niyo ba, nung time na kinakausap niya yung mga Israelites, yung time na yan is dry season. So pag sinabing dry season, Walang ulan, syempre. Walang kitlat. At dry talaga yung land. So, um, it's gonna be very hard for it to rain. Um, pero, 
dahil makapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Yun ang ginawa niya. Nag-send siya ng rain and thunder. Ayan, napakita ng, at yan, nagpapakita sa mga tao how powerful and how miraculous God is. Ayan. So, um, he wants, uh, Samuel wants the people to see kung sino talagang may power at sino talagang sovereign. And that he should be the one, uh, and they, and the Israelites should be, uh, Uh, should have fear in the Lord and follow Him and regard Him as the real King. So, importante din na dahil um, yung ginawa nila, na nagkasala sila, na mag-repent sila sincerely. At dahil doon, natakot at mga tao and na-realize nila na mali yung ginawa nila. So, they asked um, Samuel to pray for them. So, the people asked Samuel to pray for them. So, they were afraid that God will be angry at them for everything that they have done, including you asking nila na maging king, magbigay ng king sa kanila. So, they really want to ask forgiveness and have God's um, guidance sa kanila. Ngayon, sabi ni Samuel, don't worry and do not be afraid. So, wag daw silang matakot. And um, because as long as um, they turn away from their sins and love the Lord with all their heart, God will restore them. Ayan. So, this reminds us to always pray for other people. Diba? Um, so, si Samuel, willing siyang mag-pray sa mga Israelites kahit na Um, kahit na matitigas pa ang ulo nila, kahit na every now and then pala din niya pinapaalalahanin, pero ito, balik pa rin sila dun sa mga wrong ways nila. Um, but uh, Samuel knows that God's love, God loves the people so much and He cares for them too. That's why it's important na uh, ipag-pray niya sila. And because um, Some will have seen that God has been very gracious and merciful sa kanila. He knows that God will, uh, as long as they really, really repent from their sins, they really change their heart, God will definitely restore them and will, um, will take care of them. And so, um, tayo din, importante that we pray for other people. Um, Um, katulad ni Samuel, uh, because we know about God, um, we can help other people to pray to God. So, kung merong mga kaibigan tayo or relatives na needs prayer, we can always pray for them because we know and we have experienced God's love and we can share it to them by praying for them. Ayan. So, yan ang ating story for this Sunday. So, ang daming mga magagandang tagubili ni Samuel sa mga Israelites. ba? Diba? So, importante for us to always remember um, this, uh, yung mga tagubili ni Samuel at i-apply din natin sa ating buhay. So, yung una, sinabi niya na kailangan magkaroon tayo ng good reputation in the eyes of God and ganun din sa ibang tao. And then, um, he, Samuel told, told us na um, we should always be reminded of God's goodness. Paalala natin sa sarili natin yung mga blessings and ipalita rin natin sa ibang tao. And then, we should always be reminded that God is the King of our hearts and lives. And we should always obey and follow Him. And then, if we have seen, we have done something wrong, um, it's important for us to sincerely ask forgiveness and pray to God to ask forgiveness for our sins. And, hindi lang para sa atin, it's important for us also to pray for other people and to help them know more about God. 
Ayan. Thank you kids for listening to our story. And um, I hope that you have learned a lot of things from uh, Samuel. Diba? Dan sa life ni Samuel, yung mga tagubili niya sa mga uh, Israelites. So let's all remember din uh, yung mga tagubili niya. Kasi hindi lang yan para sa mga Israelites. Kundi para din sa atin. Pwede rin natin i-apply sa life natin. Okay, so uh, before we end, let's pray. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for uh, your word for today. Um, we pray, O oh God, na katulad ng life ni Samuel, maging faithful kami sa inyo, Panginoon. Um, help us, O oh God, to um, to be humble and um, ask forgiveness sa pang- mga time, O oh God, na meron kami ginawa against you or we haven't done things that we're supposed to do na iniutos ninyo sa amin, Panginoon. Um, help us to um, to come to you and to ask for forgiveness and Lord help us to God to um, to remember the goodness of God na ginawa niyo sa amin um, each and every day of our lives we thank you for all the blessings and all the wonderful things that you have shown us oh God for your love for each and every one of us maraming salamat sa pag-aalaga sa amin, Panginoon. Lord, we pray, O God, Lord Jesus, na tulungan niyo po kami sa lahat ng aming gawain na to always remember na kayo ang King and our God to always listen to you and to always follow you and to obey your word. Um, help us to um, to be able to live our lives according sa, uh, to your will, O God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for our friends and family. We pray, O oh God, na tulungan niyo po kami to continually pray for them and to uh, to be able to have them together um, in serving you, Panginoon. And we thank you and we pray, O oh God, that you help us na i-apply ang lahat ng mga bagay nito sa aming buhay. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, kids. So, that's our uh, story time. Now, get ready for our memory verse and syempre ang craft stand. Bye! Hello, crayons! I am Ate Mitzi at welcome sa ating memory verse. Welcome, welcome. Nakinig ba kayong mabuti sa kwento ngayong linggo? Good. Now, Ang ating memory verse ay nasa 1 Samuel 12 verse 20. Sabay-sabay nating basahin. In 3, 2, 1. Do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. 1 Samuel 12 verse 20. Good! Ang gagawin natin ngayong linggo ay magsasign language tayo ulit. Ready? Let's go! Yung ibang words, alam nyo na for sure. Kaya ang ating first phrase ay do not. Do not. Do not. Next word, turn. Turn. Ganyan. Pahalap. Pabalik. Like, turn. Next word, away. Away. Good. So we have do not turn away. Pag dugtong dugtong natin. Do not turn away. Good. Okay. Next word from. Yan to. Kanya. Tapos pag dahin nyo, pag, pag dugtong nyo, kanya. Oh, from. From. Para may ina from next word the lord paning the lord l dito sa balikat tapos sa bewa dito yung bewa okay the lord so meron na tayong do not turn away from the lord pagdugtungin natin chooks do not turn away from the lord Okay, 
Next, we have Bud. Um, yan yan, yung no, Bud. Serve. Paano yung serve na alala niyo pa bang? Serve. The Lord. Next word, the Lord. L, sa balikat, sa bewang, Lord, the Lord. We have, but serve the Lord. Pagdugtong, dugtong ay natin. True, but serve the Lord. Yes. Next, we have with all. <laughs> with all. Um, word lang natin na gagamitin all. So, we have all. Lahat. Like this. Lahat. All. And next word, your heart. Heart. With all your heart. Good. Tapos yung verse. First Samuel 12 verse 20. So, nakompleto na natin yung do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. 1 Samuel 12, 20. Good. Ngayon, pagtugtong-dugtongin natin. In 3, 2, 1. Do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. First Samuel 12 verse 20. Nasundan nyo ba? Okay. Para sa mga <laughs> mabilis. Okay. Try natin. Bilisan. In 3, 2, 1. Do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. 1st Samuel 12, verse 20. Good job! Ngayon, all the girls, stand up please. Kagawin natin, isasign natin yung ating memory verse. I will sign with you, pero hindi ako magsasalita. Ready? In 3, 2, 1. Okay, good. Nasabi niyo ba yung 1st Samuel 12 verse 20? Good. Next, all the boys. All the boys, stand up. Ganyan din yung gagawin natin. Handa na? Okay, in 3, 2, 1. Good. Okay, everyone na nakagawa, nakatapos ng ating memory verse at na memories ng ating memory verse, well done. Round of applause. Good. Ngayon, um, lahat tayo sabay-sabay natin because ng ating memory verse. In 3, 2, 1. Do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. First Samuel 12 verse 20. Good job everyone! Ngayon, tapos na ang ating memory verse. You did good. Ngayon, kuhain natin ang ating gamit for arts and crafts and see you next time! Bye bye crayons! Hi kids! Welcome back sa ating arts and craft time. I am Ate Trixie at ako ang makakasama niyo ngayon sa ating activity. Let's go! So, for our materials for today, ang kailangan natin ay ang ating heart pattern. Ayan. Ang ating scissor at ball pen na gagamitin natin pang sulat mamaya. Ang ating crayons. Ang ating yarn or 
string and puncher, hole puncher that I'm adding um, cardboard or any other um, board basta mas matigas siya kaysa sa ating bond paper so ayun na so for our first step ay gugupitin natin ang ating heart pattern at itong boxes for boxes na yan. After natin makapagkupit ng ating hearts and ating four boxes, nakalimutan ko kukuha pala tayo ng glue or glue stick or kung anong mayroong pandikit na meron kayo. At yung board natin, ididikit natin yung dalawang heart sa ating board. Yan, ididikit natin siya dyan. Ayan, um, tapos na ako. So, after natin i-paste or i-dikit yung ating hearts sa ating boards, ay syempre, hindi mawawala yung pagkulay. So, pili kayo ng kung anong gusto yung kulay. Pero syempre, heart ay red. Ayan, so, kapit ko lang yung red. Tapos, lagyan ko rin lang. Ayan, ito. Ayan. Yeah. So, dami tayo ng colors. Kulayan natin yung ating heart.
cutting out our pattern, our heart pattern, the next thing that we have to do is to punch holes. So what I am going to do is I am going to put these hearts back to back. Tapos, I will use the front patterns in, on this heart, on this front part of the heart. Tapos, yun yung gagamitin natin to punch holes on both hearts. So, wait, I'll punch it. Yeah, so, I am holding it both. So, I am punching holes. mag-punch holes, the next step that we are going to do is to get your string or your yarn or any other tali, basta tali, tali siya and um, hopefully mahaba siya at least 2 feet para um, maayos natin mai-lagay dito sa ating heart.
ta-da! So, after this, the last step would be um, using your ball pen or pencil um, kasama na yung um, four boxes na na-cut out din natin kasama ng heart pattern natin is we will write dito sinasabi dito on how we will serve the Lord sabi, I will serve the Lord by so for example is preaching the word of God or sharing it to other people so you will write sa apat na yun Our um, dialogue, hindi, not dialogue boxes, but text boxes. Ay ilalagay natin siya sa ating heart. Yan ito. Natin siya dito. Tara, and we're done. So yan. Pwede natin tong gawing decor sa kwarto or sa bahay natin sa sa wood. Diba? Looks amazing. So, that is all for today, guys. So, always remember this verse na nakalagay sa ating heart pattern dito sa 1 Samuel 12.20. Sabi dito, Do not turn away from the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. So, as we go, um, let's keep in mind to serve God with all our heart. So, with all our heart. <laughs> That's all for today, guys. Kids, that's all for today, kids. And thank you for being with me at the activity. I hope you enjoy doing this. And see you next time. Bye. Ayan. Nag-enjoy ba kayo? Kung nag-enjoy kayo, itype nyo sa comment na nag-enjoy po ako. I hope, kids, that you've learned new things from the Word of God. So now, let us close in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this day na tulungan niyo po na i-apply po nila sa kanilang buhay ang natutunan nila sa inyo. And i-bless niyo rin po sila Father. In this name, pray. Amen. See you kids next week. Bye-bye!